You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Hi there, and welcome to Bird's Eye View on Pet Life Radio. My name is Dr. Lori Hess, and I'm sitting here with my colleagues, Dr. Kristen Britton and Dr. Amanda Marino. And today we're going to talk to you a little about a very important topic that is coming up this year very soon. It's very seasonal, and it's about health hazards in your home related to the holidays for birds. So first of all, welcome. Hi, Dr. Britton. Why, hello, Dr. Hess. And hello, Dr. Marino. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so the three of us work at the Veterinary Center for Birds and Exotics, where we only treat birds and other exotic pets. And we see birds every day. And this time of year, it comes up very frequently that people are concerned about what could go on in their homes when they have visitors coming. We have Thanksgiving coming. We have Christmas, New Year's, all kinds of people traveling in and out of our homes, all kinds of new foods, drink, toys, children, all kinds of things that could be hazardous to your birds. So we thought we'd just discuss a little bit about some of the things that we talk about here with our patients and our clients every day about how to prevent injuries to birds from all of these holiday health hazards. But before we go get started, we're going to just take just a few minutes off and come right back to talk about holiday health hazards to your birds. Stay perched. We'll be soaring back right after these messages. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com Welcome back to Bird's Eye View. I'm Dr. Lori Hess, here with Dr. Kristen Britton and Dr. Amanda Marino. And today we're discussing holiday health hazards to your birds. So we all see birds every day. And what kind of questions are you asked or what do you bring up with your clients when you're talking about their pet birds and the holidays? So some of the most common things that I have owners talk to me about are health hazards, potentially things coming into the house during the holidays. And so that can mean various plants that are coming into the house, anything from a Christmas tree to things on the Christmas tree to some of the different types of holiday plants that we'll see. So that's one of the things that I see. One of the other things that I see as well are foods that are going to be coming into your house. So things that you wouldn't normally have, such as fruitcake and pumpkin pie and some of the more rich desserts and things. Um, and definitely with people that like to feed their birds people food, they want to know what's safe, what's potentially dangerous to them as well. And then other things that I think of too are scents, kind of scents in the household, whether that will be, you know, any sort of sense of, you know, the holidays themselves versus aromatherapy type things that are given. And then obviously things such as alcohols, because the holidays do mean a little bit of good cheer. And we just want to make sure that everybody's safe in the household. What about you, Dr. Marino? What kind of things do you worry about during the holidays? So one of the things that I think of is that owners use many different decorations at the time of the holidays. And so a lot of those can have foreign material that they want to chew on. Sometimes some of those are maybe not the highest quality and the painted things that they use could have lead or other heavy metals in it that can be toxic to them. There's lots of little pieces that can either get stuck in their GI tract or even in their mouth that can cause a problem. As well as, you know, kind of the things that Dr. Britton talked about, some other foods that are particular to this time of year is there's a lot of chocolate around the house and that could be toxic to them if they eat that in large quantities. Hot liquids like hot chocolate and things can cause crop burn and other burns in their GI tract. So those are kind of the main things I think about. 
those are all really important things. And some of those things aren't even just seasonal things. They're things that we, you know, have in our homes all the time, those hot liquids, open cups of coffee or boiling pots of water on the stove. You know, those are things we're concerned with all year long. But certainly during the holidays when we're doing a lot of cooking and there's a lot of people in and out of the kitchen, our birds certainly can get into trouble. One of the things that I worry about a lot when people are coming in and out of the house quite often during the holidays is those open doors that are open and closed, open and closed, and you never know who might just prop open the door to have everybody come in or, or fans in the ceiling if it's getting really warm. Anything a bird could fly into out of open windows and even open flames. We were talking before, you know, about uh, scents, certainly candles. We're, we, we love candles during the holidays. Some of them have very strong smells, incense, as Dr. Britton mentioned, but some of them also can actually have lead in their wicks. And obviously the flame itself is a danger. And we all love to make fires in our fireplaces during this time of year to keep warm. But we really have to make sure that those fireplaces are screened so birds can't jump in them or fly into them. And really, because of the smoke, we really don't want any birds in the room when there is an open flame going and there's potential fumes. So those are all health hazards. What other things can we worry about? So definitely kind of the other thing that I worry about is new people. So especially with birds, birds are very emotional, very behavioral, you know, socially, they have a very strong bond to us. And when we start adding more people into the family, or more children or loved ones, that's something that can potentially be a problem. Um, first of all, sometimes our birds don't always get along with every single person that they meet. And definitely smaller people, we need to be careful careful of quick movements and things around the birds, loud noises and things of that sort. So definitely talking to your children if they've never been around a bird before, kind of to take the, everything very slowly and make sure that the owner of the bird kind of directs you on, on how best to, to kind of introduce your children to the bird themselves. Definitely with kids around and especially when we're talking holidays, you know, where there's gifts and things that might be involved, unwrapping of things and having, uh, you know, those types of materials out. And if your bird's walking around, that's a potential hazard as well. And again, like I said, behavioral, just the bird may not be used to having so much activity at home, the noises at home, and all of the various people. And so that is something that, you know, if the bird does seem hyper excitable, maybe placing the bird in a quieter area in the household. However, if your bird is very well socialized, the bird may join into the party with everybody else. Um, so it very much is an individual thing for your own pet. Absolutely. What about you, Dr. Marino? What are some of your concerns? So one of the other things that I think about at this time of the year is that we have lots of Christmas lights and other lights around the house, you know, ornaments and things. And some of those have live wires. So when the animal, you know, you want to make sure that they're supervised if they're out, especially with all of these decorations, because if they chew on any of these wires and open them up, they can electrocute themselves. And that can cause some, some major problems. Either they can burn their tongue, it can cause problems with their lungs and their breathing, and it, they can even die from something like that. Those are really, really important points. I mean, there all those wires and all that trimming on the tree that we leave on and those candles that we leave, those electric candles that we leave on as decorations in the windows. Those are all beautiful, but again, they're tempting for birds to come over and want to chew on. The other thing that I get really concerned about, particularly I see a lot at Thanksgiving because everyone is cooking, is Teflon. And Teflon is a really big concern around birds because what many people don't realize is that there are Teflon pans, nonstick coatings on pans that are completely toxic to birds. When they're heated up, they release microscopic vapors that birds will breathe in, and then instantly they just, their lungs fill with fluid and they die. But those Teflon coatings are not just inside pans. They're inside many, many ovens. They're inside toaster ovens, some microwaves, places you wouldn't expect. And unfortunately, many people find out that they have these coatings in their uh, appliances because they'll use these appliances, get them really hot, use them a lot lot during the holidays and their birds will suddenly drop dead. I, I'll never forget, I mean, one of the worst emergency calls I received a few years ago was a gentleman who had four or five very large parrots in his house. He was cooking, had no idea that there was a problem. He was using a stove that he really had no idea had any Teflon in it at all. And three of the four birds
words just suddenly dropped dead. He had no idea what was going on. And he called me and it was just horrible, horrible. He was gripping his African gray parrot and he was crying and he said that the fourth bird's about to die. I don't know what's going on. And immediately I thought of Teflon. I told him to run outside and get fresh air and ventilation for this bird, but it was too late. So again, if you're going to use any kind of cooking appliances, whether they're pots, pans, microwave ovens, toaster ovens, whatever, make sure your bird is very, very far away because you just never know what's inside those appliances. Any other major concerns right now that you guys can think of? So when we're talking more, you know, once we get past Halloween with all the candies and things and then Thanksgiving with all the cooking and the foods and things that we're dealing with and then, you know, Hanukkah, Christmas, those types of holidays, then we're left with New Year's. And definitely New Year's can be stressful for most of our patients, whether they're birds or not. But with our birds, especially with the fireworks, firecrackers, potential, you know, fire hazards in general. We want to try to keep our birds as far away from those very loud noises and potentially dangerous situations. So definitely not taking your bird out to enjoy the fireworks or firecrackers or handheld sparklers or or anything like that. And then definitely as well, um, when we talk about celebration, alcoholic drinks, um, we want to keep our birds away from that. Definitely feel free to raise a glass of water to them, but we want to keep them away from any sort of alcoholic beverage as well. And if you are having a party at home, you know, poppers and things like that during the holidays, confetti, those types of things can easily be consumed by your bird. So making sure again that you keep um, everything nice and clean around the bird, making sure that they don't have exposure to those potential foreign objects that can then become a major problem and potentially need surgery if they do consume things that they shouldn't be. Those are really great topics, and and we've just been sitting here thinking, you know, holidays are filled with hazards. They can potentially be filled with great things, too, but, you know, not everything that's great at the holiday time is great for your bird. Dr. Marino actually was just bringing up earlier a really important point. What did you share with me, Dr. Marino? So during the holidays, a lot of people are looking to get unique gifts for their family and their friends, and so some people might think getting a bird would be a, a good choice for a family, and for some, it might be, but for others, it might not. So before going and getting a bird for someone, you know, you should do research on the specific type of bird that you're looking for to to do, you know, figure out about diet, about caging, making sure that you're getting an appropriate cage for the animal that's made for a bird, toys that are specifically made for birds, because all of those things can, you know, have problems and hazards. Certain cages, especially from other countries, can contain heavy metals, which if they chew on the bars can be toxic to them. Toys also, the paint and the metal pieces can also sometimes contain heavy metals, which can be toxic. Researching behavior of certain birds and things too, to make sure that they're going to fit into the household that you're getting them for. Because birds are a very long commitment, especially if you're getting a bigger bird, because some of them can live, you know, as long or longer than us. And so we want to make sure if you're thinking about getting a bird for someone that it's the appropriate situation and that they're going to be given the appropriate care and attention that they're going to need. Really, really important points. I think we're going to take another little break for a second and then we're going to talk a little bit more about other things that might be going on in your house during the holidays and whether it's really a good idea to keep your bird there, move your bird elsewhere, and what else could be going on in the house in terms of people and climate and temperature that might affect your birds with the coming holidays. We'll be right back. This is Bird's Eye View. Stay perched. We'll be soaring back right after these messages. Hi, I'm Dana Humphrey, the founder of Whitegate PR. We have been specializing in PR and marketing in the pet industry for over 10 years. If you have a pet product or service you would like to promote, give us a call. We can help create awareness for your brand on TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, and blogs. Feel free to reach me directly at 619-414-9307 or learn more on our website at whitegatepr.com or follow us on Facebook. Begging to hear more of your favorite show? Full episodes of all our shows are available on demand. Go to PetLifeRadio.com to fetch our entire lineup of possum pet podcasts. Also, dig us up in iHeartRadio Talk and iTunes. Let's talk pets. Live and on demand only from Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> <laughs> 
Welcome back to Bird's Eye View on Pet Life Radio. This is Dr. Lori Hess here with Dr. Kristen Britton and Dr. Amanda Marino, and we're talking about the holidays and your bird. We spent a long time talking about potential hazards, and you know, again, the holidays can be quite hazardous to your birds. As we said, you know, we want the holidays to be a happy time. We're thinking about gift giving. Dr. Marino brought up some really important points about not giving birds as a gift if you really haven't thought it through. You do have to think in general, there's a lot going on in your home with people visiting, and maybe there are other birds visiting. I mean, we have relatives that might bring birds in or friends that might bring birds in, and while it's nice to have play dates, we all like to hang out with our friends, it's not a great idea to necessarily bring another bird that you don't know the health status on, and, and just certainly not to throw it in within the same cage as your bird. And also, the holidays bring cold weather, and cold weather can be a problem for many birds. I mean, if we're opening the windows and the doors quite a bit to get air into our homes, if there are a lot of crowds at home, if we're having a party, or if the door is opening and closing and people are coming in all the time, you know, uh, there could be drafts in the house. And birds don't really acclimate very quickly to drafts. They certainly can over time, but rapid changes in temperature can lead to health problems with birds. So these are some other concerns. Um, what other things did we want to mention today? I think that, like you said, I think that weather and kind of the drafts and basically just things that there's a lot going on, obviously, during the holidays, making sure that your bird is warm um, during the holidays, that we try to avoid really, really cold houses. You got to remember, most of these birds are either from Africa or Australia or South America, places that are usually quite warm. And so if you live in a region that does get quite cold or even if it's snowing, making sure that your bird stays in a warm area of the house. The other things that I would think that we should consider is if you are expecting that your bird is going to react poorly either to all of the people coming to visit or due to coldness in your house or if you yourself are actually going away for the holidays. We strongly recommend that you actually board your bird with a veterinarian that's comfortable or with a boarding facility that's comfortable housing birds. They will not only be able to give great care to your bird but hopefully in an environment that may not be as hectic as what may be happening at home as well. So those are always options so definitely speak with your veterinarian or speak with your boarding facility to see if they will facilitate seeing birds. There are definitely so many considerations to make during the holidays. Dr. Marino, did you have any other ideas? I mean, I know we were talking earlier about the idea that in general, I know that we talk all day about birds are such creatures of habit. They don't like change all the time. While they are social, they are only social with those that they are comfortable with, whether it's people in the house or other pets in the house, and change can really upset them. So it's certainly all the stuff that's going on during the holidays, those are all things to consider to keep your birds healthy and and calm, but also it's just the whole nature of the holiday itself and, and the idea that birds are subject to change. That's something we really need to be aware of. So one of the things to think about when you're trying to introduce a bird to a new person or introduce a bird to something new in the household is to consider positive reinforcement. So to save, you know, their favorite food or a treat that they really like so that when you're introducing a person or a new thing in the household to the bird, that there's something positive associated with it. Um, that's a really good training tool because we don't want them to learn negative things like scolding them and things, you know, if they try to bite a person, it's trying to revert their behavior back to something positive. That's right. And I, I think, unfortunately, most people take birds acting aggressively as them being mean, but they're really not. I mean, generally, they're fearful. And certainly, if putting a bird in the middle of a big holiday party full of people with all kinds of noise and decorations and lights is enough to make any bird act out. So these are all things that we want to consider and that I hope that with the holidays, everyone who has a bird out there will remember about keeping their birds safe and happy so that they can enjoy the holidays, that their birds can enjoy the holidays holidays. And speaking of holidays, I wanted to mention to you that I actually have a new book coming out. Um, it's about uh, my memoir being uh, an exotic animal vet who treats birds and other exotic pets. It's called Unlikely Companions, The Adventures of an Exotic Animal Doctor, and it makes a wonderful holiday gift. It's a light read for anybody who appreciates birds or exotic pets, and it's available online everywhere on Amazon and other sites at my website at lauriehessdvm.com. So we hope that you've enjoyed our show today. Bird's Eye View. We hopefully have covered anything and everything that you'll need to know about the birds during the holidays and the ways to keep your birds safe. 
and we hope you'll tune in with me, Dr. Kristen Britton, and I'm Dr. Lori Hess and Dr. Amanda Marino. Soon again, have a wonderful, happy, healthy holiday with your bird and stay warm. Bye-bye. Happy Happy holidays. holidays. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.